Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from azureautomation.com and today we're going to talk about the GitHub's Copilot which is just recently introduced, which is still in technical preview state, is currently available for few people who are going to sign up and they are going to be in the wish list. It just came through for me like a couple of days before and I'm going to show you how I tried out this with the Selenium C Sharp code. So all I did is like, I actually got the code from the GitHub repo. This is the same code which is sitting now in Xero Automation GitHub repo. And I'm gonna show you how the uh, GitHub Copilot is gonna work. So all you need to do is you need to install the GitHub Copilot extensions from the extensions over here. And I have installed the GitHub Copilot extension, this one. And as you can see, it is still in the technical preview state. And it is telling you clearly that only the people who have uh, accepted from the waiting list are going to have access to this. So I'm going to quickly show you how it's actually working. Actually, this is very, very cool than compared to the Visual Street 2022's AI IntelliSense feature, which we just saw a couple of days before in our other videos. Uh, and I'm going to put that particular video in the description below in this particular video as well. And as you can see, this code is this Copilot is more magical than compared to the Visual Studio itself because if I just type like this and as you can see I'm just not even gonna write anything it automatically tells me that uh, within this particular page might be in the login page there will be something like a sign up button so it tells me that there might be a sign up button on this particular uh, login page so do you want to accept this so it is automatically coming for us over here and similarly uh, if I type like this, it's also gonna tell me some suggestion that do you need to enter the uh, username and password for the login? Because I have did something like enter username and password, insert it's suggesting us uh, the login option. So if I just hover my mouse here, it also tells you there is something called as the uh, open copilot option. So I can just select this and you can see that the copilot is going to synthesize all the different solutions it can show and it's also telling me that this is what is the solution is going to be like txt username password or send keys of username txt password dot send keys of password something like that so it's also going to give us a lot of different suggestions uh, based on what we are trying to uh, use so if i try using this accept solution you can see that it's going to come up for me uh, and this guy is kind of redundant so we can probably remove this or maybe we can just ignore the uh, matter of fact that they have given a suggestion so we can just leave this for now as it is and once we do that and if i just go over here you can see that it's also telling me that do i need to click the sign up button so this is again uh, automatically coming up for us and if i just do a sign up something like this so you can see that it automatically brings me that i need to click the sign up button and the next one which i am also very much uh, impressed with the copilot feature is if we just go to the custom controls like this is the custom control which we have written for the driver helper and again these are some of the codes which are very very specific to the i web element operation that we are going to do so if i just put an uh, enter over here do you see that we performed a select by value for our select drop down control and then there is something called a select by text and automatically there is a select by index option is also coming in selenium's select element method which is quite cool so if i just select this open uh, copilot it also tells me what are the things that the suggestion it is going to give us over here so select by text text and is multiple or just by index which is really good. So, uh, I mean, select by text is something we already have, so I'm not gonna do that. Probably select by index, I'm interested in. So I'm just gonna choose that. So let me just format the document. It looks quite interesting and cool. So this is another uh, really good option we have. And similarly, if I just go below the enter text over here, it gives me what are the other things that I can do uh, something like this again we already have a click element but for some reason it's going to show us the exact same thing which is all right and then the next option which i'm probably going to go is going to be the hook 1.cs file again this is very very interesting because uh, as you can see over here i'm just going to perform the driver helper dot driver is called a new chrome driver maybe after the new chrome driver we will be doing an implicit wait of selenium so it's coming up as well for us and what is the other thing which i can do probably page load time I can set some time frame over there and similarly set the script timeout so I could do that and then what are the other suggestions uh, probably this one so this code doesn't look quite right probably gonna ignore this for now and over here on the Chrome options where we know that we have start uh, maximized 
and uh, disable GPU and we have many other options in the add argument. So you can see that once I hit enter, it's gonna show me disable info bar, disable extensions, no sandbox, do SHM usage like that. And uh, let's say if I just want to see all the suggestion the copilot has got for me. So it's synthesizing and it's bringing up all the different suggestions, which is wow which is really really big and you can see that it's going to bring us all the different uh, chrome options that we can use for our chrome options over here which is quite interesting and cool as well so this helps us understand that how much code that we could actually write to reduce the uh, number of duplicate code or babysitting code that we could write within our selenium c sharp code or something like that Finally, let's go back to the test that we have uh, and we'll see how Copilot can really help us on that. So let's say this is a uh, test one, which is doing all these operations. What if I write another test? You can see it tells me it's a test and uh, public wide, oh, test two, cool. So it tells me that this is a test two, which is interesting. And what else I need to do? So it tells me that this is the page that I need to navigate through, which is good and what else I can do. So it automatically tells me uh, based on that particular coding uh, that this is what I'm going to probably gonna do. Uh, let's say I'm not gonna uh, go with his suggestion this time. I'm gonna do a select by index option and then it's gonna tells me what is the index I'm probably gonna be looking for. So it's giving me exactly what I'm actually looking for uh, over here on the suggestion of the GitHub Copilot, and it's giving me so many information. I think this is really, really cool, guys. I mean, I'm really, really impressed with this uh, GitHub Copilot than compared to Visual Studio's AI. I think this is way better than the Visual Studio 2022's uh, AI intelligence because it's writing us so many code uh, than compared to the tab nine or something like that. I already have the tab nine uh, with me uh, installed. So if I just search for tab, uh, 9 this one tab AI code completion something like that uh, I've just disabled it uh, for the sake of uh, showing you this demo but I think this github copilot is way better than uh, any other AI that I have used so far that's it guys once again thank you for watching this video hopefully we'll be using this copilot in our upcoming videos while writing code thank you